Hungry for a unique salad experience? My pear and apple salad with chicken is the perfect blend of taste and health. No more boring salads. Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, our celebration is all about eating a little lighter. We're gonna be making my pear and apple salad with chicken. Let's get started. So pears and apples and chicken all in a salad. Sounds kind of good, huh? Here at home on Wednesday nights, we tend to have salad Wednesdays, like some people have Taco Tuesdays. But I like to mix it up and just take whatever's around and make up a salad. More than just plain iceberg lettuce and tomatoes. No, there's vegetables and greens, a little protein of one sort or another, and we make a whole big meal out of it. We're gonna start with the vinaigrette. Now you could do this in a bowl and just use a whisk. I'm gonna use my immersion blender today. It starts with some olive oil. I have some very good extra virgin olive oil, four ounces, 120 mils, right in our beaker here. Next, of course, is vinegar. Now this is a two to one ratio of oil to vinegar. Since this has apples in the salad, I'm gonna use apple cider vinegar. Two ounces, 60 mils. I wanna add a little more acid and brightness. We're gonna get that with lemon juice. This is the juice of one lemon, always use fresh. It's going to balance against the apple cider vinegar and just add more pop oomph. Now I need something to hold this together. Normally I would use egg yolks, but today I'm gonna to use mustard. Dijon mustard, in fact. I have here four tablespoons right in. This is going to help it all emulsify and hold together as a vinaigrette. And then we need a little sweetness, just a little bit. I have a lot of savory sharp ingredients here, so I need to balance that out. We're gonna do that with honey. One tablespoon, that's all you need. All right. And of course, I wanna give it some salt and pepper. Not too much salt, that mustard is very salty, but you do need just a little bit more. And we're gonna want a good grinding of pepper. Now, on my favorite tool, and I have a link in the description to this immersion blender. Watch how fast this goes. And there you go. We have a vinaigrette. Take this, put it aside for now. Now let's build our salad. I'm gonna need a very big bowl for this. The first thing we're gonna add is spinach. So I have here five ounces, 146 grams of baby spinach. And you see how big this is. You can use other greens if you like, but I like the spinach. It's almost meaty and hearty, and it makes the salad really filling. This is a pear and apple salad. We're gonna add a pear. I have a very ripe pear that I just sliced, unpeeled. Just gonna put this in. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then of course an apple. Also unpeeled and sliced. Now I want a little more crunch, a little sharpness. We're gonna get that from a red onion. This is a medium red onion that I just sliced into half moons. And we're gonna sprinkle that in. Now, back to that dressing. I wanna add some now to coat this. Maybe half or a little less. Not quite all of it. Now we wanna give this a nice big toss. And you just want to toss it gently until all those greens are coated. And I said don't add it all at once because this way, if you need to add some more, you can. And you won't risk overdressing it. But to me, this is looking pretty good. 
All right. I said this has chicken in it. I have here eight ounces, 226 grams of cooked chicken. This was just a uh, chicken breast that I happened to have in my freezer. But you know what? A great little hack that you could do, especially when you're in a rush, use rotisserie chicken from the supermarket. Just going to scatter this about. And I want to add a little more crunch, one more little depth of flavor, a little more texture. We're going to do that with pumpkin seeds. These are toasted. I bought them that way. You can buy them untoasted and toast them yourself if you'd like. This is two ounces, which weighs out to about 35 grams. Perfect for the autumn or any time of year, really. Sprinkle them out. We're just going to do a little bit more dressing over the top to get some on the chicken. That's pretty good. And now I want a big grind of black pepper on the coarsest setting you have. Beautiful. It's casual, rustic, if you will, and it looks delicious. Here we are, it's time to taste this beautiful salad. I put it on a little serving platter, and I have a little left over that we'll probably eat later, but this will be enough for just the two of us tonight. I'm gonna give this one more crack of pepper. We like a lot of pepper. So let's give it a taste. Let's get some chicken, and maybe an apple, and some spinach. Mmm. That's delicious. The dressing is bright, tangy, exciting. And then the crunch of the apple, the softness of the chicken, it all just comes together. Again, little hits of that black pepper, but it's fresh and wonderful. Just enough dressing. See, I didn't use it all. I didn't overdress it. I need a little sip of wine. Today, I'm drinking a sparkling rosé from the Lieb Cellars out on Long Island, one of our favorite wineries. Cheers to that. Hmm. Okay, if you'd like to get this recipe in your inbox, then sign up for our newsletter. The link is in the description below. And of course, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell, and you'll get a new episode every single week. Now I'm going to go serve this to Philip, my husband, for our dinner tonight. While I do that, I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. So until next time, everyone, cheers!